everybody, it's John, Lake Erie Chestnuts. It's September 29th, and came out to check on the burrs. Things happen fast this time of year, and uh, these burrs are already starting to drop. They were completely green less than a week ago. You can see up here, we've got burrs cracking open. Some are still just completely green. And then right here on the ground, we got burrs. Right underneath, this is that licking branch that I talked to you about, about the deer. They've broken that branch off. They're chewing on it and licking it so much. And then here, of course, is a scrape. You can see they snapped that branch off right there. So we got burrs here. Now, are they all fertilized? You can see it looks like the middle nut is fertilized here. This one's laying upside down. You can see it's half brown, half green. Yet it's cracked open and it's laying on the ground. We'll tip it over. And that one's got one fertilized nut. Maybe that's gonna be the theme. This one's got two fertilized nuts. So we'll see. These must have fallen today because I can assure you deer would have eaten these. It's beautiful. Picking the nuts out here. Put the birds in an area together. Now that's too tight stepping up with sneakers. I'm not going to step down hard enough to just peel that back and get my paw in there. Pull that beautiful middle nut out. Two unfertilized. You see how wrinkled those are? Those are unfertilized nuts. busy seeing if I can pick up some others. See that? Isn't that pretty? Almost looks like a chestnut orchard. Just laying here. And some of the nuts popped out as they fell. The unfertilized I saw a couple of fertilized nuts. Look at this. Just a few years ago, this is a, just a dream. Look here. One, two, three. Love it. Look at that burr right there. Half brown, half green. But she's open. Let's see. Oh, it's got three. Three nuts in it. All nestled in there. That's beautiful. Well, I'm gonna go around and see if I can pick up some more of these. Well, I've picked them all up. It took me about 15 minutes. Put all the unfertilized in the burrs here, and then got a pretty good bag of chestnuts. Pretty good bag. Got three more burrs left on the tree well i think five or six one two three four five there's at least six more burrs on the tree but i wasn't really prepped to harvest chestnuts today so i usually harvest by individual tree but i'm going to go up and down here and see what i can pick up uh, today we'll weigh those chestnuts and i'll put an update on that so here's the 58 chestnuts weighing them 58 chestnuts 22.5 ounces one pound six and a half ounces 
one pound, six and a half ounces. Just a fabulous day. I've got the dog with me. And here's quite a few birds up here. Let's shake, let's see if there's any on the ground. I don't see any. Let's give the tree a little shake and see if something happens. Well, two birds have dropped. All right, we got four birds to drop. see what they look like. They look like they could have a fertilized nut or two. Maybe they won't be quite as brown. Maybe just starting to turn. That's exactly right. So they're not quite ripe. This will turn completely brown within a day. If you ever look at videos from Chinese people uh, over in China when they're doing their uh, ch chestnut harvesting, they actually knock all the burrs down early and put them in a big concrete pad to avoid theft and then just let them ripen that way. And since I'm not gonna be out here for the next uh, four or five days, I wanna get that done. I wanna get these back home where I can let them kind of finish up their ripening. dropped one right there in the shadow pretty green we'll leave the others up there for now this is tree Gideon this is one that has huge burrs and often multiple nuts group of four next to a group of two I'm gonna say some of these are fertilized let's give it a little chill shake see if anything drops Nothing has dropped on its own. Nothing dropped. Maybe not quite ready. Beautiful tree, leaves changing colors. This is a shing. Burrs just starting to turn brown. None has spontaneously dropped. Beautiful tree. Another shing here. A little late to this burr. Just shows how they produce at different times. The other one, no, no burrs came off the tree with shaking. This one's already opening and dropping them on the ground. And I look on the ground and I see pretty large nut it's actually splitting it looks like it's got multiple embryo and uh, see one there should be a third one somewhere but I don't see it so I may have donated that to a deer just wanted to update I was digging in the ground I found that second nut there was two two fertilized one unfertilized you can see beside it another one that's opening I don't think anything's fallen out of it yet Pretty big burrs in there. Well, it's getting that time of day. Played around enough here. Got to go back home, pick up the boys from foosball practice. Have picked up some corn stalks there for the wife and neighbors for some Halloween decorations, fall decorations. Left quite a few burrs still on the trees and probably about a week we'll harvest the rest of those harvested quite a few here ain't that a picture now most of those will have at least one fertilized nut in them
some will have three. We picked up the corn stalks, as I said, leaving some burrs on the tree here. If I don't get them, I guess the deer will. I'll try to pick, get them picked up though, because I want to avoid any chestnut weevils. Uh, I don't want to help those out at all. They'll find their way here anyway. But hopefully you enjoyed watching me pick some chestnuts. Nowhere near what some of you all have, but one of these days we should have a pretty good crop. Pretty decent this year, but pretty soon should be commercial sized. Anyway, remember if you're not out there growing, you're dying. I like what one of the guys I follow, Zach Peterson, uh, says. You can follow him on his uh, Instagram or I think he does some Facebook posting too down in, I believe, North Carolina. So good in the world. I love his that phrase. Do Go out and do something good today. All right. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.